Uh, so today's a pretty special day um, for me and my family and I just really wanted to share a bit about my story with you guys because um, you know, yesterday was my last day as a high school teacher after nine years of teaching and um, it's come about a bit faster than we thought but I just I just wanted to share a bit about my story. I thought what better day to, to share this with you. So basically I started on my journey for a better me um, about a year ago um, when I had a fairly significant health scare. I was hospitalized for about three days and they couldn't find out what was wrong with me after you know numerous tests so um, it was around that stage you know I was 29, two toddlers, beautiful husband. Um, I, I thought you know what I need to get as healthy as I can for my family so I started working out of the gym six days a week um, eating very little because I thought that's the way that you lost weight and you got healthy um, and I ended up getting really run down and really sick and um, I didn't feel healthy at all. I was constantly tired, I'd come home from work and just want to lay on the lounge, had no energy to play with the kids or cook dinner um, and I was overall a pretty cranky person to be honest. Um, it was around that time, that was February, that um, I got introduced to Isogenics by my cousin and she was getting amazing results, had lost um, significant, amount, significant amounts of weight. Um, and said that she felt amazing and that's what really piqued my interest so I inquired and was quite skeptical to begin with I actually thought I was going to send it back um, and within the first week I knew there was something different about it so um, I started sleeping better I had more energy to play with my kids um, I just felt better and by the end of my first month um, I my goal was weight loss by the end of my first month I'd lost five kilos and 51 centimeters and that was incredible for me because it had taken me the previous four months to lose four kilos so I was really excited about that um, at the end of my first month I was diagnosed with a fairly significant health issue and um, that really put things in perspective for me um, and it really made me realise what was important to me and I knew that I wanted to do something different with my life and create a better life for my children. So um, I started sharing this amazing program with people because I thought if I felt this good, um, imagine how good other people can feel and you just want everybody to feel as good as you do when you feel like this. So. Um, Basically, I just started sharing with people who were interested, there's Emmy now, um, and, and coaching them through their own programs. And this has been the most rewarding job of my life. Um, I feel very blessed to have this job. Um, and it's allowing me now to, um, to finish up work and to spend more time with my daughter Imogen who um, not long after my diagnosis was diagnosed with autism and having a child with special needs um, is, is quite difficult at times and I just I really over the last couple of days felt that she wasn't getting what she required it's been a hard couple of weeks and you know yesterday I just decided that she needs me so um, my son has learning difficulties of his own so I've, I decided that I need to be at home and um, this company has meant that I'm able to do that um, you know it's, it's just such an incredible experience if you had told me a year ago this is where I would have been I would tell you that um, you're crazy <laughs> because you know I, I was successfully teaching um, and thought that I was you know doing what I was supposed to do in my life and now I realise I was just existing so um, I, I love what I'm doing, I love sharing it with people and I'm helping a lot of my team now do the same thing with their lives and so, some of the transformations are incredible. Um, so I just really wanted to share my story with everybody, Emmy's here, I might actually see if she'll get on the camera so you guys can meet her. Imogen, Emmy, yeah. you say hi, say hi. She loves the camera, eating her toast. Anyway, um, thank you so much for listening to my story and for all your support. And um, 